For hearts long lost and full of fright, for those alone in blackest night, accept our ring and join our fight. Love conquers all with violet light. What's going on everyone? Our Park Life Nerds back here continuing our Lantern series. Today we're going to focus on the Star Sapphire Core, which for me, I personally don't know too much about, so this was really interesting picking up and finding out what's going on. Let's begin. The Star Sapphires hail from Sector 1416 and were founded by Oans, who is a Xamaron. Uh, she, found, she found a parasitic crystal which is shaped like a Star Sapphire. Now the Star Sapphire was used to empower females who had been loved and spurned, giving them basically the opportunity to gain revenge. Now the Star Sapphire was eventually decided that it was too strong so they decided best option was to break it down and condense it into a power battery like the other lantern corps uh, the violet light fully powered by love uh, the star, star sapphires from here on sent out rings to find members who had their love spurred and they could battle against the hate and fear that resounded throughout the galaxy now the most famous star sapphire would be carol ferris um, tied into green lantern mythos pretty well um, it concealed in herself that she could save Hal Jordan in the War of Light um, with her love. However, the Zamorons did not mention to her that they had planned for her to be the host of the entity of the Star Sapphires, which was the Predator. Uh, so she had this ring without realizing that she was going to indeed one day become a host. Now as we get to the Blackest Night storyline, Sinestro, as he always does, pops up, led an attack on the Star Sapphires homeworld. Uh, basically to reclaim members of his corpse that during battles had had their rings taken um, and also during this battle itself the Black Lantern rings started to descend onto the planet. Uh, two dead star sapphires are brought back to life by the lanterns and the shock of this itself made their power battery explode uh, freeing the predator entity back into the universe. Now it is at this point that Hal Jordan and Indigo One arrived. Uh, they basically took Carol Ferris away from the explosion. It's not known whether she is the only one that survived the explosion or there are more star stuff as out there. However, even after the power battery was destroyed, she still manages to maintain all her power as a star sapphire. And that is basically a brief history of the star sapphires. Now, most people think they're mainly all females, the corpse. However, there was one male to wield a ring. Uh, that was Guy Gardner. Who else would it be? Um, he was able to dual wield love with rage, basically the red and violet there, uh, basically to amplify the ring during the War of the Green Lanterns. His love and his rage, or his, yes, manifested together to create a super strong force. Um, it has been said, though, in the book that... Um, whilst it's not just females who can wield it um men can too but none have really been found worthy enough of its power and so there we go guys a brief look at the star sapphires again one i wasn't too familiar with um really enjoyed the blackest night though i wonder if they'll bring them back in the future as the green lantern stories continue all right thank you for listening and we'll see you next time cheers